So you're thinking about moving to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, more specifically, Stanton, Virginia. Well, today I'm going to take you on a tour of Stanton and show you several different neighborhoods with some different homes and different price points so that you can get an idea what fits into your budget. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what I call a hidden gem of Stanton that many people may not know about. And you definitely don't want to miss that. And we're going to get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Virginia from its mountains to valleys, then click on that subscribe button below and touch that bell so you can be the first to know everything there is to know about the market in Virginia's mountains to valleys. My name is Stephan Gleason along with my wife and partner Leslie, and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to make a move to Virginia, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're planning on moving to Virginia, mountains and valleys in nine days or 90 days, pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. The information is in the description down below, and we'll be happy to help make your move to Virginia's mountains and valleys smooth. As I mentioned earlier, we're going in the town of Stanton, Virginia today. I'm going to take you into the downtown area and just show you a little bit about Stanton and what it's like. So we're here in downtown Stanton, so you can kind of get a vibe of what it's like downtown. And, uh, Stanton was originally called at one time the Queen City, and the reason for that is because it was the largest county in the entire world. It was larger than the county, uh, larger than the countries of France and Germany, so a very large county. But I'm going to give you an idea of downtown Stanton. It's a an older downtown, but it's very revitalized. It has a lot of historic items in it, and just kind of take a look around the downtown here, and you can see there's a lot of different restaurants and and uh, things and one of the neat things about it is that every Friday night during the summertime and during the early fall these streets close and when the streets close they bring tables and chairs out onto the main street and it becomes really like an entire summer block party on Fridays and Saturday nights where people come and they enjoy a uh, time of sitting out in the nice beautiful weather in the valley that we have up here and and just talking to each other. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of shops as a matter of fact right now I'm in I'm gonna go in front of one here, which is uh, Frontline Models and Hobbies Kits, and this is actually the largest model store in the entire state of Virginia, right here in the little town of Stanton, Virginia. So, just kind of a neat little thing. There's there's also an old camera store. There's um, uh, different types of um, uh, clock. There's a clock store, and all different kinds of things down in Stanton that would, is a great afternoon for shopping. And you go all the way up to the top of the hill up there, and. Uh, on the left-hand side, you have one of the staples of Stanton, Virginia, and that is the Woodrow Wilson Presidential Library, our 28th president of the United States. So a lot of history in town here, and just a really cute, cool place to be, and got a really neat urban vibe to it, but yet it's surrounded by a lot of rural areas. So I'm here now in Stanton, Virginia, in one of the places where most all of the shopping and commerce takes place. Uh, just on the east side of town, the northeast side of town, and there's Lowe's, there's Walmart, there's grocery stores, there's restaurants, and as I pan over that way, you can see there's even more and more as we go around. So if there's a need for it, you know, most of the shopping is here. If not, you've got about 20 minutes down the road, you've got Waynesboro, which has a Target. Uh, you've got Harrisonburg, which has about 30 minutes up the road, which has a whole lot of shopping and, and malls. But like I say, this is the big area here in Stanton, Virginia. And if you need something here or a lot of uh, chain type restaurants, this is the place to come because uh, you're probably going to find it here. first stop here in Stanton and we're at the Winbrook subdivision and Winbrook subdivision as you can see from in the background here is 
has a lot of new development going on and it's been going on for several years it's it's not developing quickly but there are opportunities uh, to purchase new houses as a matter of fact right now there are two houses uh, that are for sale right now that haven't even been built yet and so uh, but we're gonna take a look and walk through the neighborhood here and let you see some of the houses and uh, Winbrook is uh, just north of the downtown area of Stanton and actually just north of the area where all of the shopping takes place uh, you've got all your a lot of your restaurants and you've got a lot of uh, Walmart and you've got your Lowe's and things like that and just a whole a whole area in town which where everything's located cr very closely grocery stores things like that the other thing that is really neat about this subdivision when you drive in one of the things that you see and as, as you kind of as you kind of look around and you kind of look up the street here um, and I know we're kind of into the sun there but there's some you know some nice houses around the neighborhood and most of these houses in this neighborhood are about 350 to 400,000 the, the mid to the mid threes to the to the to the low fours and so it, economically it's a really nice new neighborhood to get into um, a lot of families live in this neighborhood as you as you drive up and down the streets you see a lot of uh, uh, play sets in the backyards and things like that. That doesn't mean that everyone has one, but uh, there are children in the neighborhood. So if you're looking to, uh, to start a family or have a family, this would be a really neat place to, uh, to, to start out. Uh, as you can see, most of the homes have at least one brick facade on them. Uh, uh, a lot of ranch homes, but there's also a lot of uh, two-story homes as well. Most of the homes in here are three to four bedroom homes and um, Again, like I say, they're gonna run you from the mid threes to the low fours. Um, one thing that is also really, really nice about this neighborhood is it's very accessible to the interstate. Uh, it's not on the interstate necessarily, so you have cars in your backyard all the time, but uh, it's within five minutes of getting on the interstate, Interstate 81, which takes you up and down the, uh, the north to south in the Shenandoah Valley. And uh, there are, um, smaller trees as you can see which shows that it is a younger neighborhood and in a few years those all grow up and be a more mature neighborhood but like I say it's a great opportunity now to get into this neighborhood because the prices are very affordable and they like most prices over the last few years they've gone up some in here as much as 15 to 20 percent over just the last year or two alone so again the Winbrook subdivision really neat place and we're going to go down the road here and we're going to look at one house we're going to talk a little bit more about it and Kind of give you an idea of what you get for your value it's kind of hard to believe that we're actually in virginia and it's 75 degrees in november but hey we'll take every one of those days we can get so so they're coming to this uh, house that we kind of wanted to take a look at just a typical house here in the neighborhood um on a nice little cul-de-sac we got here uh i want to turn around here and we're going to take a look at this one right here uh, this particular house behind me here is kind of a typical house of what you would find in the neighborhood it is one of the larger ones uh, it's value right now. It's valued at about $400,000. It was built in 2007. It has four bedrooms and it has three baths. Price per square foot is about $180. And most of the homes in this uh, subdivision are about $180. So uh, whether the square foot is less or whether the square foot is a little bit more. The square foot of this particular house is 2,237 square feet. So not, not bad for a price of a newer house in this area. And uh, definitely, uh, again, a nice quiet cul-de-sac, as you can hear. Right now, there's not a whole lot of going on around here. A great place to live and to start out and raise a family. All right, so our next set of houses that we have, everything in this neighborhood, while there are some that are a little less expensive, and maybe a few that are a little more expensive, most of the properties in this neighborhood are gonna run between the $450,000 and $650,000 range. Uh, this is in an area of Stanton called College Park, but this is Baldwin Place. Uh, this is a very desirable neighborhood. A lot of folks love to move into this neighborhood. And one of the reasons is you can see that it's uh, very well established homes. And I'll just kind of turn around and out here in the front, you can kind of see that we have a kind of nice little commons area there and just everything uh, really well kept and a very, a very nice neighborhood. So we'll walk on down the road here a little bit. And um, so this, this particular neighborhood, most of these homes are gonna be a little bit larger, okay? And uh, as again, you can see that these homes are much more established than the neighborhood that we looked in before. We've got the larger trees. Uh, we have a lot of brick houses, uh, a lot of different styles of houses as well. We have, uh, we have Cape Cods in here. We have Colonials in here. We have ranches, two stories. So there's a lot of things uh, about this neighborhood that makes it very desirable. And one of the things that makes it very desirable is the fact that it has a lot of different options. 
uh, for when you do move in. This particular area is um, about uh, seven minutes from the shopping that we talked about in the last neighborhood. Uh, it's on the northwest side of, of Stanton. And um, most of the houses in this neighborhood are going to be four baths, uh, some three. You're even going to see some that are five or six baths, oh, excuse me, bedrooms <laughs> bedrooms uh, in this neighborhood. And baths, we might have, of course, three or four bathrooms as well. There are some houses in the area here that kind of have their own private drives uh, to get into the area. I'm going to swing on around here so you can see a little bit more. Just a really nice area to live in. One of the nice things about this area is that it's, uh, uh, it's close to the cultural center, the downtown center of Stanton. So we've come to another area here in Baldwin Place, and um, one of the neat things about this development, uh, it is established, you can definitely see that from all of the trees that are grown. A lot of this was built back in the 80s and 90s, but some of it was even built in the early 2000s. And so uh, it's not an old neighborhood, uh, as you would think of an old neighborhood being you know, in the 50s or 40s or 30s, but it's uh, established, definitely established. And um, one of the neat things about it is you can see all these uh, off of the main roads, there's multiple of these little squares uh, here in the um, in Baldwin Place. Just a really kind of a neat thing. It kind of gets you your own little privacy uh, as well. And uh, one of the other things, as you're driving through the neighborhood, almost every house here in the neighborhood either has wood shingles or they have slate shingles so something that's kind of just very unique to the area one of the houses that we have for sale right now and this is the the side of it but i'm going to go down here kind of to the front where you can have a better look at it and i'll tell you a little bit more about it when we get down there so this is the home that we just saw up on the little square that we were in at the top of the hill there and uh, this house is currently for sale it's 599,000. it was built in 1988 it has 3734 square feet in it four bedrooms and four baths which that square footage breaks down to about $160 a square foot. So as far as price per square foot goes, this is a pretty good bargain in this particular community. Uh, as you can see, it's got a great front yard with a lot of mature trees in it and just some really nice views, especially in the fall. We're, we're a little past the, the fall colors right now, but very beautiful in the fall. This whole neighborhood is. So Baldwin Place may be an exceptional place for you. As I mentioned, it's a highly desired neighborhood to be in. We're going to show you some more houses as we go on our way out. So again, this is the Woodley neighborhood here, and we're coming around the other side of this house. I just thought it was kind of neat, the little brick wall that it had in the back and the, uh, the, the stone wall, and we've got the house here. This, this particular house was, was built in 1932. It has five bedrooms and five baths. It has uh, 3,781 square feet. Uh, that's about $188 a square foot, which is about comparable with what the other houses in this neighborhood sell for. Um, it's on just a little over a half acre of land, almost two thirds as a matter of fact, and um, it's um, $713,000 is the uh, value of that particular house. So like I say, there's a lot of different homes in here that are, um, sometimes you'll find homes that are in the $400,000 range. Or, most of them are going to be from the $500,000 range and on up through the $700,000 range. So you're even going to find some $700,000, 900000 You might even find some in here that are approaching a, a, the million-dollar range. So as you can see, it's a very well-established neighborhood with a lot of mature trees. It's very close to the downtown area, which makes it very convenient to go down on Friday night for a meal in downtown, which is a really hot spot, and there's a lot of great restaurants down there. To go to um, very close to a lot of the cultural activities which are in downtown as well uh, I, again one of the interesting things i see about this is the a lot of the houses they they have a slate roof on them okay uh, pretty popular in some of these older houses out here in virginia uh, the one that we looked at earlier was built in 1932 
a lot of these houses are older like that. So a lot of them have those slate roofs, and of course slate roofs, they last a really, really long time. And, um, but for being as close to the downtown, you kind of get a vibe for what the neighborhood looks like. And uh, really it's uh, just kind of a nice, quiet neighborhood to relax in, kick back with your family. And if you love houses that are a little bit older and have a lot of character to them, uh, this is uh, definitely a great neighborhood to find them in. And like I say, the prices, there's different pockets. Um, we're in Dogwood Estates right now, which is part of Woodley. And, uh, but there are houses, like I say, for 400,000, 500,000, but most of them are in that six to $700,000 range in this neighborhood. So we're gonna take a few more pictures on our way out and we'll see you in a second. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that if you hung around till the end, I was gonna share with you a hidden gem about Stanton, Virginia. Well, here it is. It's called Mischief and Magic. It's a themed event every September in Stanton, Virginia, where the entire town is transformed into the magical world of Harry Potter. Of course, we can't call it Harry Potter, but it's a themed event where people are dressed in regalia, just like Harry Potter. There are four houses, there's butterbeer, there's Quidditch matches, all of the shops up and down the, the street are open. And if you haven't been to Mischief and Magic, you haven't seen Stanton in one of its best times. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video here about Stanton, Virginia. And I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you've gotten an idea about some of the things that are available in the Stanton, Virginia area. and some of the types of houses that are here and some of the price points that you can get in. And uh, if there's more information that you need, you know, like I say, pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and click that subscribe button to get more videos updated coming to you on a, on a weekly basis. And until then, we'll see you in Virginia's mountain and valleys.